All right, guys, I'm Gizno. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we are back with some more Common Rider Gav watching episode four today. For starters with Shoma. We got to see him interacting with members of or more members of the, um, the city. And unlike in previous episodes, this one definitely felt a lot more like we're really getting to know uh, the people of this city. Like the last the first episode was with that kid, which was OK, you know um the second one was with the second one was with amane which you know she's a she's gonna be a recurring character and then we got a little bit with her friend who's who seems to also be a recurring character because we saw her in the last episode but this one um i don't i don't think i have his name but we got to really spend time with like the other people of the city the people who probably won't be appearing in the series as uh as much and there's a bit of a difference with that because it's like okay you you introduce the main character with you know strong recurring characters but like it's the it's the little people that we meet along the way that i feel like really strengthen like those one those one episode stories or yeah one episode stories that really uh strengthen the uh the city that the main the main character is living in i thought it was handled pretty well you know really taught uh shoma about like the world and how there are going to be some people who expect things back i wonder if that's going to be a lesson that carries on in the actual series and if that will uh, affect his decision making in the future. We also found out that Karakita and Amane know each other um, so that really does make things easy because you see in the opening that all three of them are great friends they're living together or at least Shoma is living in the uh, in the in in Amane's base or her uh, her company's HQ. Uh, Karakita is also getting a lot closer to the truth he he got he actually met Kamen Rider Gav and uh, was trying to get some answers. But then this new guy shows up wearing like with, you know, the cane. And it, he apparently is an, an investigator who is investigating granites. So, I mean, I wonder how deep he is into all this. Does he know about like the stomach ink? Uh, does he know about uh, the main bad guys yet? Like how much does he know? Something tells me he's going to give some... Um, information to Karakita so that's when we're gonna find out how much he knows. Uh, speaking of stomach ink it looks like they're getting really close to the truth uh, mainly the twins so hopefully we get a face off between them and Shoma and we also get the answer of whether or not they're siblings or not. I feel like they are I don't know if this is a mystery or if it's already confirmed I don't want to know unless the show tells me but I have a feeling that they are siblings um, but yeah we have we're really going on strong episode four. I'm excited to see what we have next, so I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get on with the episode. Just oh, okay, yeah. So it looks like um, different characters are going to be doing the intro. I love it. Wait, I, I want to hear what he says. So, it's Karakita. Is he really a monster? Hell yeah, he is. <laughs> he doesn't even look that old. He doesn't look old at all. Oh, this, this belongs to somebody. I guess he's like doing this out of good faith. It's like, I trust you to leave money. Somebody feed my boy. They're not, I don't think they're fair game, man. Somebody planted those. You can't just eat it straight out of the ground. Ah, they got your they got your butt now. Oh, we saw these guys in the trailer. Jesus Christ. Yo, they got a whole board going on here. That's cool. Oh, oh. Nivelin. We have a name. Okay, so we have Nilv, and then we have Jeeb. And she, Shita, I think. Jeeb and Shita are twins. And then Neil is the glasses. The mods are, are they what make them look human? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, okay. These guys are just being childish. Okay. Huh? Why is he looking at me? What the heck? I feel like everybody has their own like side project going on. Like the twins want to try solving this on their own because it's fun. And it looks like Neil has like his own thing. It's like I hope they haven't caught on. 
Oh, whoa. What the heck? That looks suspicious. Oh, also, I like that. Yo, the opening is changing. It's like, okay, the dark treats melts and he appears. And that effect looks like the effect that the bad guys have when they turn into their monster form, isn't it? It could be because he's investigating or it could be because he's part of the villains. Is he the one that said, have they caught on yet? I don't know. I want the opening to change more and more. Oh, wow. He looks a lot like Shoma. <laughs> I'll eat it clean. Is that a coincidence or is there something more to that? It's like, are these his grandparents? Do they also have a daughter? Oh, really? Yeah, because they couldn't eat those dark treats. So they have to eat like the gunk. Yo, he came from a dark past. Oh, it'll be like when, like when their kid was here. He's gonna end up leaving a freaking note for them, I bet you. Yo, why are there so many good people? It's I mean, like last episode, we met a not so good guy, but he had like good intentions. But this time, we're meeting a really nice couple. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this is your base, huh? <coughs> There's a nice little clean bench over there. Oh, wait, shit. They're eating us! We're just cattle to them. Q attack on Titan opening. That's absolutely terrifying. Missing person? Most likely they were Ian. That's so weird. Okay. <laughs> Something wrong? Yeah. I think he just broke this guy's brain. Right? Why did why was it so aggressive? Like the other ones were like taken more like secretly, but this one was just like, oh, there's a mom with their kid. Ah, okay. Okay, that's actually okay, so the compression might be something new. So that's why they're able to do things more secretly now. The chocolate thing? Oh my god! Let them go! Oh no, they're so sad! Yo, I don't like this. Oh shoot. You're trusting him so e Oh yeah, that's a chocolate one, isn't it? You're trusting you're trusting him so so quickly. Yeah, look at our boy, our hardworking boy. Yo, it wouldn't be a Gav episode without seeing Shoma doing some hard labor. <gasps> it's the marshmallow for. Oh. Yeah, just a bit stretchy. Now I need to excuse me for one second, because <laughs> I'm um, something's about to come out of my pants. Oh my God! Where did that come? From? Where did it come? <laughs> Is that the same one, or are they all women? Because if it's the same one, I need to know what's under that mask. Oh, we're back with the with the chief. It does sound dodgy, doesn't it? He knows too much. Well, I mean, he's been researching this for a few years now. But I don't know how it started. Yeah, he's older. Probably not by that much, though. Delusions. Delusions. What the heck? Oh, that was a male voice. Okay. Different. 
Why are you following him, though? <laughs> oh my god! Excuse me, sir? Ma'am? Those old people! Whoa, what is this jumping that is taking place right now? And then somebody else pops up. <gasps> They're meeting! Oh, they're siblings! Let's go! Oh, that's so awful. But I'm so happy. Not the old people. Okay, so they already knew about the red gav. Oh, okay. Dang, it's like you don't belong with the monsters, you don't belong with the humans. <laughs> Flashback. Is she wearing a lab coat? Stop it, I'm gonna freak out. That nutcase father of ours. Okay, so it was the dad. He had a change of heart. Oh my god, I was right. I'm happy about that. You guys are related. Dang. The insult was not necessary. This definitely does feel like the museum. Even with like the, the belts and everything. Oh no. Oh, oh! This is it's personal. It's personal, man. You guys lived with this human for so long and you just you didn't even try to understand her? What did you didn't, she didn't even turn into a dark tree? You did you just snap her in half? Also, I'm looking at the the monster forms. I think I have a feeling there's like a second. There's this like that's not their full form, right? Because it really is just them, like just the monster head and then a the human body. I don't know if that's their true form or not. <laughs> I I doubt it. Now that you said that. Damn! So we got the flashback we wanted. Messed up. Dang, alright. These agents need a promotion. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe so. Well, obviously not. Do these guys have minions? I don't think... I don't... I mean, obviously they probably do. Because they're not failures. No, I don't think we've seen them yet. Like I said, these guys need a, a raise. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Then don't. No way. Exactly. Flashbacks. Flashbacks will fuel you. Oh, it's the OST, let's go! Haha, <laughs> they're like, what the fuck? How? Did they fool on marshmallows? <laughs> That's so cute! <laughs> fuamalo! Yo, it's so cushy! 
<laughs> the, the twins are like, what the heck? Is he using the word bubble? That's amazing. He's breaking the fourth wall with the power of mar marshmallows. Yo, it's his Hulkbuster form. Let's go. That's insane. Bury them alive. Oh, I was joking. I was joking. Are we burying them alive? Oh, no, he's got him. That was a weird fight. <laughs> he's got... That was a bit overpowered. <laughs> yeah, what would it be? Call him by his name. <laughs> that was just against the agents. It wasn't even against them. No. <laughs> but if you leave them alone, they might still take them. <laughs> What do you mean you won't bother anyone? You need you need friends. You need um What the heck? No! No! Oh my god. They're making me want to watch the previews. What are they doing? I'm trying to be a good reactor. <laughs> oh man, this episode was good. Yo, it got hyped. It got hyped as hell. Because, like, I really did want them to be siblings, and I wanted that, you know, that relationship for the heroes and the villains. It is a lot like Kamen Rider W, Philip and the museum, but I think even more so because we're, like, getting right into it. Like, it's only episode four, and we're acknowledging that they're siblings, as opposed to in Kamen Rider W. Like, it took a while. It took a while before it was, like, confirmed. And even then, like, they didn't really get that much interactions uh, between each other. But like here we can get a lot more at least that's what i'm hoping for um jeeb and cheetah like they seem to be they, they're really fun characters uh i like how the twins are playing them um and then we actually got to see a scene with nelv and he killed it of course um but he seems to have his own secrets as well as far as like have they caught on i honestly think it's um suga the researcher that um that was asking i think yeah because like in the episode there was a moment when he was alone right yeah the um karakita came and visited his office so there was a moment when he was alone and we know those doors i guess you can like use any door and appear in that like room filled with doors so like he could have access to that as well i don't i don't know what that means um, if he's a granite just pretending to be a researcher, or if he is a human and he cut a deal with the granites, I have absolutely no idea. But like, they're like, we know that Karakita or, um, yeah, Karakita is being watched. So he could be like a potential something, maybe a potential like weapon for them. Maybe they're using the humans now as weapons, or at least they're using him as weapons. I, I don't know. Uh, but that's really, really interesting. I'm, I'm excited to see more with that the whole thing with suga there is a shadiness to him um like uh the chief was right about that but i don't think it's delusion i think it's him saying what he needs to say to get what he wants we don't know if everything he's saying is true we don't know if it's false but i don't think he's like crazy i think he he knows what he's saying um we did find out that the granites are from another dimension uh which is which makes sense considering the doors um, and also we saw their place it's like you had buildings in the ceiling and stuff like that like it makes sense that they're from a different dimension they're not really like alien aliens um, also we found out that there's a good chance that crump uh, compression might be a new gadget because uh, Suga was saying like because Suga was like oh okay if they're like if they tackled your mom to the ground and and took her with them then there's a chance that okay they didn't have that technology with the tongue which is really interesting because it's like, okay, did that technology start when uh, Shoma's dad died? Or like, because it looks like there were like two different eras, if that makes sense. So, or maybe three. Either you had one before Shoma's dad met Shoma's mom 
and they were hunting humans, they were doing it a lot more viciously. And then there was an era where uh, Shoma met Shoma's mom, they had the kid, and then they were like, and then he was like, okay, maybe he was saying that they should stop the whole stomach ink thing and maybe find something else to eat. Uh, and then after that, um, there was the era where Shoma's dad died and then their kids took over uh, and got rid of the humans and possibly up the tech to make it easier to catch humans. Um, I don't know, but it, it, I, th I think that's kind of where the timeline is going. I'm happy that I was right about Shoma's dad um, being like, you know, dying or getting killed and the kids taking over because that's that's I, I imagine that his feelings would change towards humans and that he got to spend so much time with one of them and had a kid with them for god's sakes so the, the siblings didn't like that but um it's just crazy how none of them developed like warm feelings towards humans after having a human like for a stepmom i guess i mean i guess you know, stepmom. So not all, not all the, not all kids are very receptive towards that. Um, but man, damn, none of them had any feelings towards Shoma at all. It seems like. Well, well, we're gonna have to see what other their of uh, the other siblings' reactions were. Uh, but the twins are like, forget this guy. You know, kill him. I don't care. Uh, it's that 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 was it was a really good interaction. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, Shoma didn't really have that much to say, I guess, but like, he, he you could tell toward his feelings that the twins got to him. Um, talking about his mom, and then after that, talking about the humans as well. It's like, ooh, these humans that you're hanging out with, they sure, they're probably real tasty. You know, they're all happy and stuff like that. Him being half granite made, made him immune to the compress. Uh, and they talked about how the red gav is responsible for that. I thought the red gav might be a creation um, from his mom that she made it to make him feel more like a granite or something. Um, that could still be the case, but it could also be like he was just born with the red gav. They keep calling him red gav, not calling him by his name. So I, I don't know. But yeah, we, we got some good speaking roles from the siblings. I like that. The the fight scene was pretty good. It was different from like the usual monster of the week. It was now these like super powered agents who definitely if they they they, they could have gotten a raise after that fight because man, they were they were actually holding their own, which is crazy. Um and it's crazy, it's like uh Shoma's like I actually won. And it's like, yeah, you won against agents. <laughs> Like, you didn't even want to get, like, it's a good thing those twins didn't decide to fight because that wouldn't have been good. Like, it was like that moment in, in um, My Hero Academia in Season 1 when All Might was like, you guys want to go up against me and he's already, like, tired and stuff, but he has to put on this front. That's what Shoma did. Like, if they actually went up against him, he'd probably lose, but he was a good bluffer. They, they also talked about how Makoto uh, looks like Shoma and how he was one of the people who disappeared. Is it a coincidence? I don't know. Um... I thought, oh, maybe he's they're like his uncle and aunt, or maybe like grandparents. If if Makoto has a sister, I don't know. The ending mystery, I don't know. When he was like about to faint, I thought maybe like Suga would um, intercept him um, at the end of the episode, but we don't know who's there. Somebody's watching over him. We don't even know who it is. Uh, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what we have in store. The, the, the series is going good. It's able to balance that goofiness, the goofiness that is like just like a marshmallow form and food form, able to balance that with like the seriousness of what's going on. And the heartwarmingness of Shoma spending time with these, you know, elderly people who miss their son. Like that's such a nice thing to do. It, it's filled, filled them with joy, which is also dangerous. So it's like it goes back to that dark part of the series. So yeah, they do a really good job with that. I am really excited for next week. I can't believe this honestly felt very, very short. Like, now I gotta wait for a whole week just to find out what the heck happens next. I can't do this. <laughs> Kamen Rider Wizard is easy. Just watch like, I watch like four episodes episodes every sitting. And, you know, I'm able, I'm able to feel like, okay, I'm pretty satisfied. But this, it's like, nope, just one episode, 24 minutes and that's it. I'm not satisfied. Uh, but please tell me what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys thought about my reaction. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe. All those things really help me out. And subbing let you guys know when I upload next. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye.